Local first responders and Mayo Clinic's emergency department believe more lives can be saved by changing how certain sudden cardiac arrest patients are treated. To prepare, these teams have gone through intensive training and drills. What we want people to understand here is that we are not doing anything experimental. We are taking processes that we already do and we're linking them in an efficient manner. What you're seeing in this training scenario are surgical, anesthesia and emergency department teams all working to re-establish blood flow with extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO. It's a machine that provides heart and lung support when a heart is completely stopped. It's something cardiac and anesthesia teams have been practicing in the hospital for decades. The added component of this is identifying that small group of patients that may actually benefit from transport to the hospital quickly that are in cardiac arrest that would benefit from this ECMO activation. The innovative new protocol is a sort of trauma activation system where surgeons, ECMO consultants and emergency department teams will get a pre-alert sent by first responders so they can be assembled and ready when a patient arrives. Our hope with this process is to identify the right patient earlier and to get them here sooner and to have the, all of the resources already in the room. And it's been a big undertaking to have that outcome but I'm really hopeful that, that this will make a difference. A recent study found that for certain cardiac arrest patients, their odds of survival increased by six times if they had early access to ECMO and chest compressions. To me, it really represents the best part of Mayo, which is teamwork, bringing people with a lot of interests and a lot of different specialties together to bring world-class care to the people of Rochester. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dee Dee Steepen.